Where are we? I set the machine to take us to Danny's school. I must have made a miscalculation. Oh, you've made no mistake. I've taken up residence at Casper High. Or at least where Casper High once stood. I'm glad you could finally make it. I've been waiting for you all to arrive. Sorry we were late, but now let's get the party started. <laughs> oh, it's not that simple, Danny. I have the upper hand. All you need to do is join me, and I will let them go. I told you before, I use my powers for good. You cannot resist, Danny. The Syndicate cannot be defeated. With every passing moment, this ghost portal provides us with power for the Syndicate's ultimate plan, and provides me with unlimited ghost energy. I will never join you! <sighs> You'll have plenty of time to consider my offer further as you rot for eternity in the Ghost Zone prison! <laughs> Fascinating. This looks like ghost hunting technology. Did you make these devices yourself? Uh, no. Uh, the Fenton family are the ghost technology wizards. Uh, <laughs> not me. The Fentons? Are they the freaky couple Vlad had trapped in his throne room? If they're ghost experts, we should try to rescue them. We can't. Vlad's too powerful with his ghost portal open. We need to find some way to shut it down. If I spend some time studying these devices, Perhaps we can build a gadget to close the portal. This is no time to be studying. Yeah, we're heroes. Heroes don't just sit around and study. You're right. Heroes go out and save the world. All right. Let's get going. We'll figure out a plan once we get to Vlad's castle. Let's get started. Amity Park is a ghost-free zone! Not quite. There's still one big ghost we need to take care of. Let's close his portal for good. <laughs> this place isn't so creepy. Bad, right, guys? <laughs> right? This place is awesome! It's just like something out of a scary movie! We need a way to shut down that ghost portal. We can't beat Vlad while that thing is open. Vlad would need a lot of energy to keep that portal open. He must have generators in his castle. That's why you're the boy genius! That's... 
Let's find those generators and shut them down. One bubble bomb coming up!
So, Danny, you've escaped from the ghost zone and shut down my portal. Give it up, Vlad. You've lost your power and Amity Park has been saved. It's all over, just give up. You underestimate me, Danny. With the help of the Syndicate, I'll soon have it up and running again, and we've already harnessed enough ghost energy for our device. Our device? The Syndicate is building something? Yes, and very soon, you will all bow down to the might of the Syndicate. It doesn't matter what you're planning. We're going to stop you. Oh, but what of Jack and Maddie Fenton? Surely you wouldn't risk their innocent lives, would you? I'm not gonna stand here and let you treat them like puppets. Get ready to pay for this! Believe it, Vlad. You've lost. For now, maybe. But soon you will regret standing up to the Syndicate. This is far from over. Far, far from over. That mean old Vlad escaped. At least the Fentons are safe. Well, that's a relief. Okay, let's get out of here before they notice us. But I was hoping to learn more about their ghost hunting technology. Trust me, ghost hunters and ghost boys don't mix. Besides, Amity Park is back to normal, and we've got other worlds to save. You're right. Here we go! Thank <laughs> you. 
Ghost. Plankton has taken control of Bikini Bottom. He's locked up anyone who's resisted, and one of the first to get captured was Mr. Krabs. Oh, no. Now he's catching all the jellyfish in jellyfish fields and transporting them back to his fortress factory where he's extracting power from their sting. Those poor jellyfish. I have a plan to save the jellyfish and overthrow Plankton, and we need your help. We'd be happy to help, Sandy. First, we go to Jellyfish Field and destroy his jellyfish harvesting machines. That should disrupt Plankton's plans. And save those wild jellyfish. Next, we will sneak into Plankton's fortress and shut down his machines. And save the captured jellyfish. In all the chaos, we should be able to sneak into Plankton's control center to stop his operation completely. And save Mr. Krabs. Ooh, this is like a spy movie. Do we have any secret agents? You're smart, kid. We've already got an agent in Jellyfish Fields. Your mission is to make contact with our agent. And how will we know this agent? Don't worry, he's one of our best men. His code name is Agent Star. Wow, a secret agent. I wonder who it could be. One bubble bomb coming up! Yeah. <laughs> 
going ghost. Let's get tight. Going ghost. Going ghost. Like our way in. Patrick, Mr. Krabs, all the little jellyfish, hang on, we're coming! We need to shut this factory down. We can't let the Syndicate collect any more energy from these jellyfish. Hmm, from the look of these plans, there are four emergency vents that we should be able to release the jellyfish through. <laughs> that ought to do it. Wait, what's that noise? Patrick, hooray! Don't worry, buddy. We'll have you out of there in a jiffy. One bubble bomb coming up. Oh!
Now that we've saved the jellyfish, it's time to find Plankton. We're coming to save you, Mr. Krabs! I've tried being reasonable with you, Krabs, and I've tried being unreasonable. Yet you refuse to surrender the Krabby Patty formula. Why do you resist? Why won't you give me that formula? No, Mr. Krabs! Don't tell him! What? SpongeBob? Plankton, you've gone too far this time. What would your mother think? Why, I'm sure she would be very proud of me. I was always her favorite. Prepare to be crushed! your mother think now. You're right, SpongeBob. She would be very disappointed in me. Being a villain is no way to live. That's right. Go on. I can change. I can see the error of my ways. I'll help people from now on and devote my life to being good. I don't know if he's learned his lesson, but he's certainly not ruling Bikini Bottom anymore. Oh, I wouldn't be too sure about that. I can't believe you fell for that. And you, SpongeBob, falling for the line about my mother? <laughs> when will you people learn? <laughs> Patrick, where did you come from? Uh, up there. I need a shower. You may have stopped my plans, but the Syndicate is still getting energy from Dimsdale. We will soon have enough energy to finish the Doomsday Machine, and then you will all bow down before me. Nothing can stop the Syndicate! Nothing! <laughs> doomsday Machine? That doesn't sound good. Let's find out what Crocker's been up to in Dimsdale. We've got to stop them from powering that Doomsday Machine. Otherwise, all of our futures are at risk. Wow, is that 
real gold? It must be worth a fortune. If only it wasn't so ugly looking. Oh, Timmy, this doesn't look good. There's a rainbow of pure fairy magic flowing into Crocker's fortress. Why is that bad? Rainbows are simply the result of light refracting through moisture in the atmosphere. This is a completely different kind of rainbow, one made of fairy magic. Fairy magic? Crocker must be extracting energy from this computer simulation. Uh, yeah. Well, anyway, we've got to stop him. You're right. There's definitely a power stream going into that fortress. Let's find a way in and investigate. One bubble bomb coming up. <laughs> Go! 
Timmy, Crocker has taken over Fairy World and is draining power from the big wand to feed their doomsday machine. Wow! At last, some help! But why do you bring puny children instead of mighty heroes? Ha! Don't sweat it, Jorgen. Big things often come in small packages. Ask Wanda. What are you saying? What he means is that these children are heroes. They may be small, but we've seen them do great things. All right, we must prepare for battle. The human named Crocker may have taken away our magic, but with your help, we can fight back. First, free all the captured Furies. We will need everybody's help to take back Fairy World. Well, let's get to it. We need to stop Crocker as soon as possible. Go and go! <laughs> Go and go! Go! <laughs> 
Let's get up there and stop him! So, Turner, you finally made it! And I see that you brought your fairies with you! Don't call my friends fairies! What's a fairy? You're too late! Calamitous and the Syndicate have more than enough power for the Doomsday Device. And very soon, the Syndicate will demonstrate the power it has over all worlds by destroying one! <laughs> With fairy magic under my control, I am unstoppable! The Syndicate will rule the universe, and I will rule Dimsdale and Fairy World! Oh, he's right, Timmy. As long as that machine is draining fairy magic, we can't do anything to him. But we can make fun of his outfit. Nice pants. We've got to shut his machine down. One bubble bomb coming up. This is a job for Cleft, 
No, my no. Gen one. You can't take my power away. I am the king of fairy world. You can't stop me. The fairies have their magic back. Yay, magic! And fairy world has it back too. It's over. You may have beaten me this time, Turner, but Fairy World will be mine again! The Doomsday Machine is fully charged! You don't have a chance! Hmm. You think we'd learn by now that they run away when we beat them? I just assumed that was part of the plan. If what Crocker said is true, we need to head back to Retroville right away. We must find Professor Calamitous before he uses that Doomsday Machine. Don't sweat it. I think I can fix everything now. I wish that none of these problems ever happened, and that all the bad guys were in jail. I'm sorry, Timmy, but the rules say that you can only wish for changes to our world. Even Crocker is out of our reach for the moment. I guess we gotta do this the old-fashioned way. Okay, Jimmy, back to Retroville. Cindy? According to the reading I took, the parasitic drains were strongest in the audiovisual center of the CPU. We'll need to make our way through Goddard's systems to get there, but there were minor drains everywhere, so they could be anywhere in his systems. This is a job for Cleft, the boy chin wonder. <laughs> Going ghost!
Lightning Bubble Bomb? Coming up! Let's go and go! This is Goddard's head. The flea bot should be right behind this panel. Okay, it should be in here somewhere. Remember, we need to retrieve the transmitter unit from it so we can use it to trace the signal to Calamitous' secret lab. Well, but I was sure that the flea bot was here. You know what? You can afford to be wrong once in a while. Professor, we are here to stop your doomsday machine. And once we've stopped your evil plans, you villains are going to spend a very long time in jail. It looks like you heroes won't quit unless we give you an, um, uh, uh, demonstration of our power. Universal, Universal doomsday, doomsday machine countdown, countdown initiated. Retroville destruction will commence in five minutes and counting. Have a nice day. Once started, it can't be stopped, you see. I never got around to finishing the, um, uh, um, override switch. Are you crazy? You'll destroy yourselves, too! Oh no, Danny, I assure you. We are quite safe inside this protective capsule. Even fairies couldn't save you now, Turner! We've got to disable that doomsday machine! What kind of amateurs do you think we are? That's right. It won't be that easy for you. Computer, activate the, uh, um, you know, uh, doomsday defense systems. <laughs>
can't believe it. You've defeated our defense system. That's right. You've taught me a valuable lesson in teamwork, Professor. But the lesson ends here. Oh, not quite, Jimmy Neutron. You may have defeated me, but the Doomsday Machine is still going to destroy Retroville, and you can't stop it. <laughs> oh, no! There are only 30 seconds left! What are we gonna do? Come on, Brain. Think, think, think! What if I go ghost with it? No, that won't work. Um, guys, how about... Maybe Cosmo and Wanda could send it into a black hole. I know. I can reconfigure the plasma flux and reverse the polarity. But there's no time. What are we going to do? What happened? It worked. No. I, um, uh, never finished the backup. Power supply. Way to go, SpongeBob! <laughs> it's over! You saved the day! With Professor Calamitous in jail and the rest of the Syndicate in your custody, I think it's time we go our separate ways. But take these neutron recallers with you. If anything like this happens again, we can work together to resolve it. Thanks, Jimmy. You're welcome to visit me in Bikini Bottom anytime you like. Guess I should get going. Don't want to lose my job at the Krusty Krab. Mr. Krabs would fire you after you saved his life? Nah, but if I'm not there on time, he starts charging me for wasting his time. Sometimes I have to work all day just to break even, but I love working there. So long, guys. Hup. Well, I guess it's my turn to say goodbye. Here, Jimmy, I I've got something for you. Something to remember me by. And you never know when it might come in handy. Thanks, Danny. With this, I can figure out what those phantasmal projections really were. Um, Vlad's not still in there, is he? No, he's in this one. I, I borrowed your matter duplicator to make that copy. <laughs> it's good to see you again, Timmy, but we should probably say goodbye. Thanks for lending me this hypercube. I'll let Crocker out once we get back to Dimsdale. Bye, Timmy. I'm missing you already. <laughs> Life is almost back to normal. Just one more thing to take care of. Cindy, get out of my lab! <laughs>